Solarcan 2008, we've introduced a new option called Contour 3D. This will allow us to draw a tool along a 3D path, and it will follow that contour as well as the depth itself. Let's take a look at how this works. If I were to start my operation, we can go to Contour 3D. When I go to my geometry, I'll choose my chain as this contour as we see over here. Now this particular sketch that we have here is actually a 3D sketch. The tool that I will be using will be a 6 millimeter ball and mill. Let's go into our technology field right now. Now we have two options over here. We can either have the tip going up until the geometry itself or the center going to the geometry itself as we can see in the picture over here. If I have to do the tip and then do save and calculate, let's take a look at exactly what happens and we use 3D simulation. The tool itself will go exactly according to the contour of that particular path. Now if I were to use the option of center, let's take a look at what this does now. The tool actually goes past it. In other words, the center of the tool is what goes th to th through that path. Let's take a look at it now through and solve verify. And as you can see, the tool itself go down past the surface. And the center of the tool is now working on the toolpath itself. Again, let's do the tip, save and calculate, and then again we'll do the option of solve verify. Now we'll see the tool is going exactly on that particular geometry that we've picked. Now if I were to do the simulation using the host cat option, let's take a look at it at the top view, and you'll see the center of the tool is going along the path. Now if I want to have the tool going either on the left or the right hand, right side of the tool path, we do this within the regular profile operation. Let's take a look at how this works. We'll start a new operation, and this time we'll use the option of profile. We'll use the geometry that I've used before, as you can see here, the exact same geometry. And I'll even use the exact same tool that I've used before, the 6 millimeter ball end mill. But this time when I go into my technology area, I can use either left or right. And in the depth type, I use the option called 3D. Now when I use the option called 3D, I'll do save and calculate. And let's take a look at our simulation right now. If we take it from the top view, we'll note that the tool is moving on the right side of the geometry along the path. If we were to change this to left and then do save and calculate, now let's take a look at the simulation from the top view, and again you'll see that it works on the left side of the geometry. But as far as the depth goes, it works exactly along the contour of the path itself.